So team sport leadership is, right? Uh, how, do, how has that changed perhaps? I, if, I feel like we've seen a lot of shifts, uh, not just post pandemic, but really beginning before that, where there's more of an emphasis on work-life balance, mental mm -hmm. health concerns, uh, you know, of course, the whole uh, dynamic with remote and hybrid work that's going on right now. Has your leadership style had to change or what have you had to do with the heat to sort of accommodate uh, workers' views on that? Um, yeah, this is, this is hugely generational. Um, and we've done a lot of work mm -hmm. internally on, on mm -hmm. multi-generational workforce uh, uh, issues. People my age, I don't want to generalize too much, but you know, our, us older folks, want everybody back in the office and uh, want to go back to the way things always were because that worked great. Um, but this new generation, uh, <coughs> actually two generations of folks coming into the workforce, the first question they ask when you interview them is, you know, can I work remotely? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we've had to deal with it the same way I'm sure McKinsey has and, and probably you have too in academia. Um, and, and we've tried to find a balance. We're in the live events business, so you got to be there for the events, right? That's, that's what we do. But when we're off season or, or when there's a, a break in the schedule, we have put a, we haven't written it down in pen, but we basically have a policy that you gotta be in the office three days a week, which gives people an opportunity to have a little bit of a flexible lifestyle um, and work remotely. We have uh, Teams and Zoom and all the things that, that people have elsewhere. And, and honestly, um, as much as I resisted that, uh, it's been pretty successful. I, you know, we have not seen a big fall off in productivity or, or uh, effectiveness of, of what we've been trying to do. So at this point, I've just sort of accepted that that's the way it's gonna be and, and everybody seems happy with it. Um, so that's where we are. 